25 year old right hander John Gant who will make just his eighth start of the year when he returns to full health it will require some managing in terms of his contributions as Ben Zobris takes a big swing and gets the Cubs on the board first in St. Louis tonight. Ben Zobra, such a contact approach, but when he gets the right pitch, especially in the right count, he's got the pop. And from John Gant, this is 93 miles an hour right down the pipe. Zobris, known for getting himself into the counts that he can drive the ball. Big leg kick, able to lay on 93 right down the middle. Is unfortunately for the Cardinals the high total in baseball. Bobby Baez will be a one pitch casualty, not before a little damage is done. It's Kyle Hendricks on the mound for the Chicago Cubs tonight. 28 year old right hander and the lone right hander in the Cubs rotation. I mean, really, uh. Molina into left center. Hold that thought as Yadi Molina has an extra base hit here in the bottom of the first. We talked about it off the top. Just and effectively ended the day early. Ozuna swinging early here with a high drive to left, and Marcelo Ozuna has done it again. Jed Jerko continues here in the first with a base hit the other way. Whee! And a cold strike three as he straightens up Tommy Pham to end the inning. Now let's take a further look at that really good pitch, that changeup. And Schwarber is able to lay off after being behind 0 and 2 in the count. Schwarber stays put, and Russell takes ball four. And not looking good doing it. They keep the bunt on with two strikes, and Hendricks strikes out. On the ground to the left side, Jerk goes up with it to retire the side. Cubs have never had a rotation with four left-handed starters making as many as seven starts in a year. As Munoz rings an extra base hit into the left field corner. 0 oh, and 2 the count to Ben Carpenter and Hendricks gets him on three pitches. James on his big league baseball card. Shot out to center field, chasing Fam, running out of room quickly, and it's gone. Number 15 for Anthony Rizzo. One the counts of Ben Zobrist to shot back up the box in a base hit. Couple of the hard hit balls against Gantt start the third. We mentioned Anthony Rizzo. And oh, double play ball. Hold that thought. Taylor made. Boy, Javi Baez has swung at two pitches and recorded three outs tonight. A little Martha Stewart for sure. And a swing and a miss by Yadi Molina. He was quick to point that out to us as soon as he took the job. And a swing and a miss by DeYoung for out number two. We just say, hey guys, how do I look here? How do I look? He's chatting his ear. And Jerko tops it to the third baseman, Cody. Oh, it's a fine barehanded play for the out. Ending play here with the bare hand. A do or die play. Great rhythm, great throw. Nice catch at the back end here by Anthony Rizzo. The tough part is the catch right here by Rizzo. Clock on some of their great young pitchers from the AAA level. A rotation from AAA. You're still in a race. That one off Gantt. A good recovery by Jerko, but the throw's not in time. Should be a breaking ball here. Bounced up the middle. Great play by Munoz. Flips to DeYoung, and they get the force out on Bodie. Well done on a very tough chance.
by decades. Smashed to third that eats up Jerko and gets into the left field corner. Rizzo wraps around to third. Zobris did it second, halfway to the cycle. Three quarters of the way to the cycle, rather. Chopper. Munoz is there, and he kicks it. And that old Cardinal problem has reared its ugly head again tonight. Alex, you jinxed him. I jinxed him. In the Boone family. In the left field, a base hit and another run. And the error proves even more costly. Here's Hayward being given a green light. He'll score all the way from first. Three two pitch home is hit in the air the other way. Fowler and right to put a merciful end to a tough inning. But here is strikeout victim for the second time tonight. Fowler's 0 for 2 so far tonight, and there's a flare out to shallow right. Zobrist on and lays out to make the catch. But Ben Zobrist is having himself a great night on both sides of the scorecard. As Carl Edwards Jr. starts Munoz with a 96 mile an hour fastball for a strike. Six year contract. With three of the worst months you can ever see. I mean, I know he threw a 10 pitch bullpen. Or 3.4 for the ERA. Martinez lines to right. Hayward slides and makes a great catch on a tough chance. Well, and he almost, he overran the ball. 2014 season. First pitch to Matt Carpenter, rifled into right field. Here come the cards. Munoz to third. Runners at the corners. It is one well outside and hit in the air out to Hayward in right. Who will camp under it to make the catch. They will hold Munoz at third. That's some respect. For the 2-2 pitch got him on another fastball perfect execution by Carl Edwards jr. And tonight in a save situation that'll be the veteran right-hander Pedro stroke Ozuna tops it in the infield gonna be a tough chance for Bodie it makes a great play for the first down of the inning David Bodie does not want to go back to AAA, folks. He's been up and down five times this year. Ask SVP where he was on vacation. I sure will. We'll have a chance to do that sooner rather than later, as this one is iced down for the Chicago Cubs. Chicago avoids the sweep here at Bush. With a 5-2 victory here in the series finale tonight. Kyle Hendricks gets it back on track. A long one for Kyle to improve his record to 7-9.